right, today we're going to talk about lock, the feature on PowerPoint lock aspect ratio. And so I'm just going to insert um, a, an angle. We will just create a quick angle. Say I really like this angle. I'm going to make it black, make it personalized how I think it should be for the activity or worksheet or test that I'm creating for my students. And then I decide that I need to change the size and I go to drag this and I accidentally adjust it and I have totally changed it and I can't quite get it back. There's a feature on PowerPoint to kind of protect from you doing that. If you have a shape that you like the size and um, design of, you can go to format shape and then the size feature and click the button lock aspect ratio and that just keeps the proportionality of it and you cannot adjust the height or width alone it will keep the shape as the original slice and this works really well for creating like similar figures let's just say i want some irregular quad oh i didn't mean to do that well we'll just go with a very irregular shape like this perfect I get it how I like, and then I'm going to copy and paste to make a um, similar figure of it. So I want it to be the same shape, but I want it to be um, a smaller or a larger size. Again, if I'm not careful, I can adjust this size down or up, and also it will change the shape. So this works really well for... Um, keeping the original shape. And again, we try to tell kids, you know, it's, it's how it's labeled, not how it's drawn that matters, but this does help them visualize, um, you know, the similarity in shapes. Also, this is a good time to point out that um, if I want to rotate that shape um, to make it a little more, um, less obvious how I have, you know, change the orientation or um, just make it a little more intentional about using corresponding angles or sides. You can change the, um, rotate it or reflect it here in this little rotate button. So just a couple quick hints about how to, um, yeah, make your worksheets or practice sheets um, just exactly the way you want them for your geometry students. Have a wonderful day. Bye.